You might be wondering now how to get help during the debug session. What if I face a statement that is new to me and the developer is not available to help? Well, during the first debugging sessions, it might be very useful to you to have another SAP session with the ABAP editor displaying the program you are debugging. You can get help by positioning the cursor on a, on a statement and pressing F1. It's indeed simple like this. Of course, it's not required, but if you are not familiar with a certain statement, it will help you to understand what the ABAP code is doing at that moment. Let me show to you how we run the transaction code that we'll call the ABAP editor, SC38, and then hit enter. Let's take a look at this program, how we'll display it. Great, so um, let me, for instance, I have doubts about the perform statement. What I can do? I can position the cursor on the statement and then I can hit F1. It will display to me another window. Let's wait a little bit. Oh, great. So it's displays to me another window with the uh, possible variants of this uh, command. And then I can double click the one that I want to, to see more details. I just double click. It takes a while. But OK, great. Now I have uh, all the details that I need to know about this specific statement. Let me close this window. Uh, let me briefly talk to you about navigation. So from the above editor, SE38, you can also navigate to the definition of variables, work areas, or internal table, or even database tables, uh, and see how exactly they are defined and possibly where the values are coming from. So what I'll do now, let me search, let me click the, the, the binoculars, or let me, in fact, execute here, Control F to find. Let me take a look at this, the definition of this variable. Let me click Find Next. Okay, so it's referenced here. What I'll do, I will double click and it will take me to its definition. But see, its definition, in fact, doesn't tell me that much. So I will double click this one again, yt underscore trends under, uh, dash ctnm. I will double click it. And then, okay, so I have another reference. ctnm is like dd, gd underscore caplet. I will double click this one again. Mm, and now things start making sense. So this variable, it's it makes reference to a database table field. And I can also double click this database table field and I am uh, sent to SE11 and the whole um, table structure is presented to me. And I can take a look at the field that I want. I can see its type, its length, uh, decimal places if applicable, and the description. To move back, just uh, press the back button or F3 once, twice, three times until you go back to where you were. 